Incest was practiced by ancient Egyptian royalty. Mothers married sons and brothers married sisters to keep the power and the money all in the family. Like their Pharaonic ancestors, the British monarchy have a long history of incestuous inbreeding. away from the presidency is actually a blood relation. He's President Bush's ninth cousin once removed. Cheney's cousin Barack Obama is also Bush's 11th cousin. President Lincoln was President Bush's seventh cousin five times removed. And Bush shared more than just a ballot with John Kerry. That's right, they're ninth cousins twice removed. Trace the family tree far enough and you get Madonna, Celine Dion, and Tom Hanks. Christine, you've heard the adage, politics makes strange bedfellows. Apparently, politics also makes for strange relations. Thanks to the New England Historic Genealogical Society, we now know the presidential candidates are related to a host of famous and historic figures. ...in this primary campaign. I opposed this war in 2002. But do you know their relatives? Obama is distantly related to six presidents, George W. and George H.W. Bush, Gerald Ford, Lyndon Johnson, Harry S. Truman, and James Madison. Obama's family tree also includes Sir Winston Churchill and Civil War General Robert E. Lee. Thank you all. Thank you. She's also related to beatnik author Jack Kerouac and the wife of Prince Charles of England. John McCain's ancestry was more difficult to trace, but it's known he's the sixth cousin of First Lady Laura Bush. his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life.
You helped our nation celebrate its bicentennial in, 17, in 1976. She gave me a look that only a mother could give a child. She gave me a look that only a mother could give a child. Only a mother could give a child. Only a mother could give a child. that only a mother could give a child. Themselves, the Illuminati, which comes from the illuminated ones, have come through history. And as people began to reject overt in your face dictatorship, they became the people who ran the system. It's all about genetics to these people. They're like horse breeders. Diana basically called herself the Windsor's Brood Man as she was brought into the web merely to be the vehicle to give birth to William. You'll look at the bushes and people like that, and they look like you and me. The key element is what happens beyond the realm that we can see. This is what the Illuminati bloodlines really are. They are vehicles for other dimensional entities to manipulate this reality. To understand it, you have to research so many different subjects and then fit the strands together before you go, wow, so that's what it's all about. So when you look at the uh, story of Diana, it's not just about what's happening uh, now, what happened in 97, it's also going back again to Babylon, places like that. The goddess Diana was an ancient uh, goddess, which was another name for the Babylonian goddess, Queen Semiramis, the goddess of the Illuminati. And um, one of the uh, groups of people that worshipped Diana, the goddess, and did their rituals to her, were called the Merovingians. The Merovingians are one of the, if not the, key bloodline in the um, whole Illuminati network. 